Good morning, good evening, good afternoon again. Just wanted to let you guys know we're going to do a little special stream today because this is the costume contest here on Purgatory. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to spectate the costume contest. And as and of course, you know, uh, what's going to a costume contest without putting on a costume of your own? Let's go. All right. So now we're going to break back in and we're going to listen to what's going on. Else, too? She's like, what? <laughs> All right, guys. I am on and I am live. How's it going? How's it going? Perfect. All right. Ain't hey. no. Hell it. Oh, Snidely looks pretty good. Zam. Uh. <laughs> Donnie Bravo. Little Dark Witch Unmasked. Okay. So the theme, for those of you who are just joining us and just catching this on uh, Twitch, the theme of today... Or the theme of this, uh, the theme of this is Hanna Barbera. <coughs> Hanna Barbera. Yeah, Tina went to bed because she's sick. So. What? Yeah, Tina went to bed because she wasn't feeling bad. So let's see. As I know I dressed up, I don't think Avatar is part of Hanna Barbera. Pretty sure. I don't believe so. Leave that alone. But of course, you know, they know that, uh, honestly, chat, I don't even think they know that I'm dressed up. Hmm, one pound of boiled crawfish. Are you still laughing about that one girl and the pizza? <laughs> Foiled again. Yes, yes, y'all. That's what we're doing here today. What we're doing today, we're just making some characters. Um, they're actually having a contest, a co costume contest for Hanna Barbera. See who makes a tune that looks the most like. Anna Barbera uh, character. Okay, let's see. One thing, then I'll start. Looked at a grub up restaurant called Hana Matsura Sushi and they're listed as chicken. 
the chicken. So basically, I come as Kung Pao Chicken and dressed up as a cat. <laughs> I come as salmon roll, but really just chicken. <laughs> Grilled whole squid. That's good. Deep fried squid is amazing. I don't know if you've ever had it or not, but that, that's, that's some pretty good stuff there. This is calamari. No, not quite. It's more like breaded, but it's the entire uh, squid, not just the tentacles. No, I usually get mine just grilled. The dried squid that they grill, they eat up. Then you eat it like squid oh, jerky. Jo oh, Joe. Yes, sir. Let's see, it's no fair for you Japanese, to talk about. Because all my Korean friends do that. And I never ate it in Japan, but I did see dried squid in like 7-Eleven. Well, in um, in the Archambault prefixture, they have a specialty, and it's like baby octopus. Um, they're probably around three inches to four inches in diameter, but they just deep fry them and just eat them whole. Hmm. It's it's pretty good, especially with the way they fix them up and season them and stuff. I bet baby baby squid like less than an inch for their head. That was in a, a seafood kimchi stew. Funny story. Uh, before I left for Japan, I... Uh, I had an instance where I lived in Louisiana and we lived near a Japanese delicacy. So they served a lot of Japanese delicacies like blowfish. Um, they were certified to serve blowfish. There was, and I did eat blowfish this year when I was younger. Um, but the, for this story, I actually ate a live octopus and the, um, I'd seen someone else eat one and I thought that that looks cool. I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder. So I, I figured, you know, there's nothing like the present. Let's do this. Um, well, there are certain parts to eating. There, there are certain methods that you must go through in order to do this right. Well, I picked it up with the chopsticks and I just tried to pop it in my mouth and swallow it. Um, I can honestly say... I chewed out of self-defense. Um, it grabbed a hold of my lips and it was halfway down my throat. And it, I guess it was holding on for dear life and I was choking. Um, it was, it was not the chef thought it was the most hilarious fucking thing he'd ever seen in his life. Um, as he almost fell over. Um, I almost fell over, but that was due to lack of oxygen. Um, he was so kind as to to went to, to go to the back and get me another. And he told me, you make the sign like, okay. And then you bring, you put your, your chopsticks through the center and then you bring them, bring up the head. And that's what you grab a hold of. And you, the reason why you do that is so that all the tentacles, when they go by your fingers will collapse in and it won't allow the suction cups to, but yeah, that was, I was almost unalived by an octopus that I paid to eat. <laughs> the octopus was like, eat me, will you? Yeah, I, I swear to God, I chewed out of self-defense. You know, I probably... <laughs> I don't think I had a bad meal when I was eating on the economy in Japan. Oh my God, the, the food over there. And Japanese barbecue. Uh, have you ever had shabu shabu? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, for those of the, you, I've been to been to Europe and Japan, and I'm a chef. So. Uh, I've been to Japan seven times. Um, I work for a Japanese company, and every time I go, mm -hmm. I spend about a week to two weeks. Time. I was there for eighteen months in the army. yeah that's uh oh my god the, the shop for those of you that don't know shabu shabu is the motion that you go through when you cook it because the food comes to you and it's sliced like razor thin and there's a little cooking plate that's there 
and you you literally cook the food in front of you and you boil the water and you boil the meat and oh oh it is amazing but then again i guess that's like the most laziest cooking you could do because technically you're serving raw food that they're cooking their damn self yeah and charging a premium for it that's the best part high premium too i mean like you would you're not like, like you're like i'm sorry sir is this overcooked for you well it's your damn fault <laughs> yes maybe maybe okay. too much shabu and not enough shabu right. is it undercooked see the chef, well please? it's your we damn fault hey big john was that the shabu you try to eat you know loosen do what was that the uh, the shabu that you try to eat uh you know the the the, the, the uh, giant squid from uh I I uh, IP port. See the oh, image I talking... sent you. Yeah. No, 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 no. That that was my mouth doesn't open that wide. Yeah, that's that, that's a real squid. That's a real squid they found in the bottom of the ocean. Oh, it's like Barney, but witty. Yeah, but it looks looks like the the, the uh, octopus we fight with the eight, te eight tentacles and IP. If it was a it different is, color, it would have it would have been a perfect match. Look, it's Squidworth. I put it in general. And of course, Fieldy, if you uh, if you hop over and view my stream, I put on a costume just for you, Fieldy. I don't create costumes, but I'll put on some. Oh, nice! Hey, you haven't watched the uh, movie The Menu yet? No. No. <laughs> uh, not myself, but I know a guy who did. Said it was interesting. Yeah, it was. And Ralph Fiennes just killed it. It's pretty funny what happens to the end. I won't ruin, but it was pretty pretty cool at the end. Some of the name of the dishes were crazy. <laughs> I get on the stream. Where is it at? It's on the. Uh, hey guys, did I miss the contest? Nope, you're nope. in time. Nope, we're all just standing around. We're about, we're about to start. Okay, um, where are we meeting at? Uh, Atlas Park. Atlas Park. I was just Underneath there. It. It was a ghost, ghost Town. Get it? Ghost no, no, no. <laughs> Under, uh, in front of in front of City Hall, on the platform for Atlas. Under Atlas's ass. Yes. <laughs> Look, this is where Alfredo was. We think he's up in the buck cheat. Thought I heard something squeaking up there. He got stuck up there one one time. Really, he got stuck. You remember that building? He had to ask for help to get out. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, Harvey Birdman. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, no way. Someone did Harvey Birdman? Oh, no, yeah. No. Talk about you. Yeah. <laughs> no way. I got to wait for me. I'm coming. I took too long on the damn costume. So you at oh there no. you are on that side. Gotcha, gotcha. You, so you saw me fly over. Oh my god, someone else just spoke. I'm out of here. Someone else did <laughs> Space Ghost. What the fuck? Well, okay. Space Ghost. Wow. Alright, so we all need to stand around pointing at each other. What the fuck? No, I got a meme, the Spider-Man meme. On. We're all pointing at each other, all three of them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
one of the space ghosts is fat. All right. Hey, oh, no, we hey, take hey. a picture. I of like that. the chest detail though. <laughs> Yes, yeah, nice. Good. good move. That was a good move in the chest detail. I could not get a, a hood to come down like that. How'd you guys manage that? We're gonna have to exchange notes later. <laughs> How'd you manage that shit? I couldn't get like any kind of hood to come down like that. I'm the head. You can just, you color it with uh, black and it'll color the head match. black, huh? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. All right. Yeah, the mask, the face mask. You change change the the face with the mask. Convert it, yeah. Nice. Well, I hope I get it on a originality. Well, I don't get originality. I hope I get uh, something for a creative interpretation. How space goes would want to look. <laughs> well, everybody gets a prize for participating. There's a participation prize. Oh, none of that bullshit. Everybody gets one of those. You, 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 you might as well, you know. But it's not the same prize. I mean, there's the first, second, third place, and then there's the participation prize that everybody gets. Prize for missing. Right. I think. And then Per is going to hand out the prizes. So I'm just doing first, second, and third place. Oh, yeah, actually, space space. a little bit closer, Abco, because I'm taking a group shot with everybody. Yep, Birdman, a little bit closer to the Snidely Whiplash, please. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Oh, these guys need to get a life. Oh. Thought I was on one of the big boss space goes. And then Abco, could you go a little I'm bit closer to anybody else? I'm trying to take a screenshot of everybody. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know about space. Yeah, Biko, bring it in a little bit. You need to get closer to uh, about... Dark there. 52. That's all I know about. Other way, other way. We got to get closer to everybody else so I can take a screenshot. Of everybody. There you go. Actually, if you come in between the other two, uh, two. space ghosts, please. There's a gap. Yeah, there's a gap. Oh, went too far. There you go. A little closer. Perfect. Let me get out of your way so you can take a screenshot too. There we go. It's two other space ghosts. You guys suck. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I was here space first. Space ghost, exactly. space ghost I mean, in the multiverse. I made space ghost day one. <laughs> yeah, I'm but I, were, I arrived for the contest first. I, I'm so happy. I see there's four space ghosts here. That's awesome. Four? Wait a minute. Four. We do my four. Yeah, because my other costume is space ghost. So I, oh, I so you were doing technically? I did space ghost first, but I just changed to my alt one in case I was already space ghost. So this is my alt. I see. I see. You were smart. I didn't make. Yeah. Out. I thought I was original. I didn't think anyone would know about Space Ghost. <laughs> I was even gonna make a Space How? Ghost, man. I said I was even gonna make a Space Ghost. I watched Space I Ghost coast to so coast. coast, coast yeah. network and I here. thought Birdman would be a lot of Birdman too. There's only one Birdman here, so I was like, wow. I thought space. Yeah. I thought it'd be full of Space Ghost and Birdman. I thought for sure there'd be like a tie. I'm amazed nobody did like. You know, like Thundar, Arnie Rebel. Sure. Yeah, I thought Thundar would be a popular one too. I thought about Thundar. I thought about it. I you tried know? to make one, but it didn't well, look right to me, so I did. You remember Mitor? Or the Herculoids. Herculoids, yep. That would have been an easy costume, barbarian look. Thundar the Barbarian, Mitor. Dan Hill King. I thought about yeah, Captain I... Caveman, but I don't think there's no way to get that damn. Snagglepuss. Right. Snagglepuss. Captain Caveman! Well, you could make a really hairy character and be Captain Caveman, you know? Yeah, but to get it short and dumpy like that, I don't think it's possible. Right, right. yeah. Right. <laughs> Snaggy and, and Scooby. <laughs> no one did that. Right, Shaggy, Shaggy and Scooby. Sure, I maybe Shaggy would, or Velma would show up. I mean, you probably could do Fred, too. Oh, you could definitely do a, a, a Wilma or a Velma. A George Jetson. Yeah, George Jetson would be an easy one, one, too. I thought about doing that one. Because we have Space Helmet. Because yeah. 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 they don't really have yeah, Judy Jetson. Daughter Judy. 
Right. Jane, his wife. Then he gets the or something. They didn't then they get the, the speech for Frankenstein, Frankenstein too. The space mm -hmm. Frankenstein. That's right. Well, you can, can do any of the Universal yeah. monsters because they're all in um, another one. I forget the name of the cartoon. The main character is the vampire. Then they got the wolf man and Frankenstein's monster and the mummy and all that stuff. So any of the Universal... Yeah, I think it's called Monster Force. Yeah, that sounds right. Monster Force. <laughs> or was it Monster Squad? Did Hannah... Yes. How about Monster High? Monst yeah. I think they even did Monster High, which is like for the newer kids. I thought Ookla the Muff was also was part of Hannah Barbera. I'm thinking of... Ookla. I'm thinking of Drac Pack. Now, is, is Johnny Bravo actually a, Mar a um, Hannah Barbera? No. I know it's Cartoon Network. I don't know if it's Santa Barbara. Yeah, it's that um, Nick, uh, what's it called Cartoon Network. Yeah, I mean there is a Johnny Quest, not Johnny Bravo. Johnny Quest is is what's it called? Is Santa Barbara? Ray, I'm surprised no one made Race Banner. Race Bannon. Oh my God, that should have been easy to make. Race Bannon. I didn't think about it. Any from Johnny Quest would be easy. Make. Probably be more fun to make his dad though. Oh my God, Snidely Whiplash. Yes. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. It, so, so Tom already made not, not so Snidely Whiplash is already here in, in the costume. I know. I'm, I'm just looking down the line. I'm like, holy crap. Shazam, not bad. I forgot about him. Yeah, Shazam's good too. And he's got a car that's smart. It would have been nice if someone could make Muttley. <laughs> Look <laughs> behind funny. him. Very funny. Dress the dog's only on for four months. Yes, Muttley's there. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's right in front of you. Okay. A, l a little, a little humanoid looking Muttley. Got it. Yeah, there was no choice. You can't make him short and stumpy like we were talking about. So. I know. <laughs> Actually, I uh, made a, I made a Twiggy. It looked pretty damn good. Hold on. Oh, Buck Rogers. I did. I did. Really did a good job. The uh, first oh, three wow. seasons were produced by Hanna Barbera Cartoons. Three seasons uh, of what? No. Johnny Bravo. Okay. You oh, man. Wow. Nice. Now, and here's another one oh. that Hanna Barbera oh, yeah. cartoons was bought by Turner and absorbed into Warner Brothers Animation. Yeah. yeah. So on, you yeah. could you could you could technically do because any Hanna Barbera would then be also a Warner Brothers cartoon. There was hundreds. Or that's right. Oh, <laughs> well, Hanna Barbera did do the Super Friends cartoon way back. Yep. Yep. Multiple variations of it too. You know, so yeah. it would be cool if someone came up with Apache Chief. I can't believe it was ten after six when I realized, like, oh crap, I'm missing it. Oh wow. So in yeah, April I was, I've been working on my costume for the last hour. So late, late minute, last minute entry, guys. Oh, well, we got another entry? In, L last minute entry. No, he's talking about himself. Oh, okay. Um, in April of 2021, Cartoon Network Studios Europe rebranded as Hanna-Barbera Studios Europe to revive the name. No, it's good. I'm good. I'm not arguing it. It's, it was cool. Johnny Bravo was actually one of my favorites. No, no, actually, no, actually, I'm just saying that Hanna Barbera or Cartoon Network Europe has now changed, is now known as Hanna Barbera Studios. So they brought back the name Hanna Barbera. And I'm all, all for it. Hanna Barbera, you know, got me through tough times as a kid. Mm -hmm. The Hanna Barbera name. I thought it was gone. No, I think Boomerang is still around, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it shows on Boomerang, but I mean, I, as Hanna Barbera as like a the current thing for kids, That's true. I That's thought true. it was. I thought the Hanna Barbera name itself was gone, but no, 
No, the people who own it actually brought it back. They're bringing it back. Nice. Well, the people who own it no, don't get blue. all kinds of things, man. Yeah, yeah, you get Blue Falcon. It's another old cartoon. It's uh. Elab twenty twenty. Yeah, Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt. Yeah. Away. Oh, so there was hundreds. <laughs> I thought about Blue Falcon, but I couldn't figure out how to get the headpiece. Who used to do the eagle head? Pretend he's inside now. I'm what? No trot house. Yeah. Oh sure, my with God. glass shields and half helmets, you probably could have got something similar. Yeah, there's not glass shields mid close you could get. Oh my God, I did not know that. You could you could have done Captain Planet. Oh my God, <laughs> that would have been easy. <laughs> Captain Planet. Yeah, Captain Planet. I, I was just Is looking through here. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Uh, in 1993, the studio again renamed itself to Hanna-Barbera Cartoons. Um, and while Turner acquired its remaining interest from Apollo Interest Fund for $255 million, Groupie, Master Detective, The New Adventures of Captain Planet, Watt Kids, uh, The Radical Squadron, and Two Stupid Dogs, Merged that year and in 1994. So, yeah, you could have done Captain Planet because it actually was branded under Hanna Barbera cartoons. <laughs> wow. I think there's like, if you, I don't know if it's Hanna Barbera alone, but he's got like over like 600, almost 650 cartoons and characters that you could have picked from you know it's like oh my god yeah well, I'm going all the new squidly stuff. diddly squidly diddly the, then he had a hippo you know, uh, then you got yoga, you yoga then you got yogi bear and a boo boo hey yeah. don't forget Pie galaxy Pie. trio you yeah got Pie Pie? Trio. that was a fun one i like that one vapor man yep the yep vapor lad. Vapor, lad. vapor man or vapor lad Tom, yeah, Tom and Jerry, because that was 1937 when Hanna Barbera started with Tom and Jerry. Wow, I think they Warner yeah. Brothers. Am I wrong? Pie Pie. Is it Tom and Jerry Warner Brothers? Yeah, but Warner Brothers no. bought Hanna Barbera. War yeah, yeah. The Warner Brothers, correct? Yeah. Now they are. Yeah. Now they are, but they oh, started so out under Hanna Barbera. Tom and Jerry started out as Hanna Barbera, which means which yeah, means you could have made Hello Nurse. That is great. I never knew that. So Warner Brothers bought the bought the rights of Tom and Jerry, huh? Yeah, they bought all of Hanna Barbera. Wow! They did that okay. in uh, twenty and two thousand one. That's cool. I, mean, I am not upset. I mean, most, that is really cool. Yeah. Most of the yeah, cartoons yeah. we remember were all Hanna Barbera. Yep. Or 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 Rankin or Rankin and 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 Bass ones like uh, um, Lord of the Rings. They did that one and Flight of Dragons. Don't forget about, um, I know it's, it originated in Japan. It was called Gotcha Man. Let's not forget about Battle of the Planets, G Force. No, that wasn't Hanna Barbera. I think no, but I mean, I love, uh, if you want to talk about the 80s. Animation. Yeah. Right. Just right. Good, yeah, see, good, I didn't want to do anime. Anime is a whole different thing. So I was doing this Hanna Barbera style stuff. So, yeah, so, so, so G Force don't belong here? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. What? <laughs> no, that's anime. Wow. Well, there's a whole separate it's one for also, anime. G Force is also Funimation. Yeah, yeah. It's technically it's called Gotcha Man in, in Japan. Gotcha Man in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha Man going, is and the, it's still going. I think yeah, like, Gotcha what? Man is the original. Then it was first tran you know, revised for American audience yeah, as G Force. Yeah. Then they did another one called Battle of the Planets, which yeah, was even worse because they they weakened it even more. Yeah, because don't forget, battle, battle, the one with the Battle of the Planets was part of Force Five. They used to be on on uh, weekdays. They used to they used to bring all, on all the uh, giant robots, different ones during the day. Guy King and, and the all the other ones. Uh, Mazinger Z, but they called it Transer Z. Yeah, yeah. So it was Trans. Voltron. And then they did. Um, oh, so, don't get me started on Voltron. Uh, get a get a robot. Oh, they called something else. Yeah. Robotech. Oh, Pildy. Robotech. I got a question for you. It all. Yep. Yep. So that? H and B Productions is Hanna Barbera Productions. They produce the opening credit scenes for Bewitched. So does that mean you could do the animated <laughs> Bewitched? Yeah. 
I, guess I would count. <laughs> yeah, why not? Did, hey, did they also the do an, the anime? The, they, they probably did the animated opening for I Dream of Genie too. Probably, yeah, because it's around did. the same time period and it's the same style of animation. So I bet you that, would, that would count. That would count. So if you want, yep, they would they would have already had the corporate connection. That's right. Yeah. Well, because I because I'm reading here and it says H and B also produced the opening credits for Bewitched, in which nice. animated characters of of Samantha and Darwin uh, Darren appeared. These Darren, characters Darren. were reused. Darren, uh, these characters were reused in the sixth season of the Flintstones episode Samantha. But that's still, nice. that, wow! So you could have actually somebody could have dressed up as Samantha from right. Bewitched. Or I dream of genie. Or, 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 I dream of genie. Either one. Either one would have been. Would have been. Well, a girl. they got Suzanne oh, yeah. here. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I I should have done my homework. Oh my God, there are so ungodly yeah, many. Yeah, I mean, there's so many characters. characters there. I I figured everybody would find something unique and different, you know, or their favorite. Yeah, Hanna Barbera had their own design for genie. different than the tv show also i like how the space ghost on my right here did uh translucent that's pretty good because he did he did do invisibility so mm -hmm. pretty smart there there you go john whoever whoever whoever's mr beefy here that's space ghost what mr beefy he's beefy space ghost ain't that buff the space ghost yes, he, he is buff but yeah not that buff he looks yeah, like he's, a he, he's, not, he's not hulk yeah, he's not Hulk scale. Yeah, <laughs> he's huge. He's a classic triangle. It's too, bad you do, it's too bad you can do the legs skinnier for Johnny Bravo. Because, you know, you got to have the big body, but a little right. tiny legs. Right, you got to have the smaller legs. That's true. That would have been, that would have been hilarious. You got to have the chicken legs. Right. Yep. Hey, Big John, I sent you a DM in Discord. By the way, who's voting on this? I am, but I was going to have you guys vote for, uh, you can't vote for yourself, obviously. <laughs> What's the point? Because then everybody, well, I already know, it'd be all tied. Hey, it's tied. Everybody has one vote each. <laughs> well, that's, no, actually, that's no, why. it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't, because <laughs> Fieldy's not in it, and right. Fieldy's voting. So that would right. be so one person. Tiebreaker. So therefore, everybody already voted for yourself, so I'll be the tiebreaker. We, we, need, we need at least three judges, guys. <laughs> Well, there's a, there's you got uh, Pookie Snooches sitting over there. Yeah, we need a third judge. We need a tiebreaker. Nope. <laughs> so first place goes to. <laughs> so, so big, so big John. What which one's your favorite out of all of them that are there? most elaborate costume if I, if I might suggest you might you want, might, might want to narrow it down to like the top two or the top three right and then and then you guys do your final vote that's, if I that's had, what usually they do if i had to go for top three, yeah. top three. it would have to be harvey sure birdman discussions in Nick, Nick stingley here yeah, Stingley, Whiplash, yep. And it would probably be the translucent Space Ghost, right? Space Ghost, yeah. Yeah, see, that's exactly three I was doing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and, 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 and okay. Look at how elaborate the costume is, too. Here's Yeah, and here's, here's what I was going for. I was going for originality. Amazingly enough, Harvey Birdman was, was original. For difficulty, right? Snigly, Snigly, yep. Yeah, his his took the most most like right. details, details and, then, and thought, right? And then the space ghost is almost spot on, right? I mean, other than so you can't do it about the size, right? You have to be a little bit buff, but other than yeah. the buffness, I mean, every, the actual costume itself, he did, he did, he figured out how to do the space ghost chest symbol. You know, really close. Yeah, that, that's the hardest part. That's the hardest <laughs> part. I right. agree. Yeah. It was hard. That was very hard to do. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong, because you know, Eagle Rights, she's pretty hot, and, and I could right. definitely vote for her. You know, right. hey, afterwards, you know, you're my favorite color, purple. 
Hey, I'm the only one that's got an aura for Space Ghost. But isn't he invisible? I mean, but he, he, he glows. He can, he he can turn invisible. Yeah. Right. He has invisible power. Thank oh, you, sorry. He's glowing now. There you go. <laughs> Wrong color. Maybe, maybe more like pulsating. Oh, God. <laughs> this this sounds like I need to say giggity. Yeah, it sounds like you can hang out with her too much. <laughs> yeah, Snide, Snidely's you know, long lost brother, giggity. So okay, you asked my opinion. Those are those are my in my humble opinion that those three are my. Yep, those are the top three. Okay, so I will say out of those three. I'd say in terms of um, elaborateness of the costume embellishment, I would say it would be uh, Snidely with black would be first. And then the choice for second place, though, is either Ghostman or Harvey Birdman. Which one do you think? Space Ghost or Harvey Birdman? Dude, Space Ghost is pretty spot on. Yeah, I mean that the way you adjust everything. I, I gotta admit, y'all, y'all just don't understand. He, I understand he's a little yeah. bit bigger than what he should be, but holy Jesus, that, yeah. the costume is spot on, all the way almost to the fucking emblem on the chest. Yeah, but I added texture to my costume. <laughs> and of course, uh, Per uh, Per is watching on the chat. He says, oh my God, you guys look awesome. And laugh out loud, it's not that kind of contest, Big John. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask Per, out of Space Ghost and Harvey Birdman, she'd be the tiebreaker. Which one for second place? Bro, she can hear you. <laughs> okay, well, which one? Space Ghost, this one? Or Harvey Birdman. Uh, I know, I know she's still in the chat, but I can well, see her. He might have had to step away. Oh, he did Sonic Screech, Martial Arts. And let's see what Space Ghost do for his power set. Did he match it to close to what it could be? Yeah, he did Energy Blast. Physical damage. A little more buff. Give me a target and you can see it too. So I guess that would be the tiebreaker. Oh. Would be the oh. power section. Her says one second coming into Discord. So she oh, is hopping on. I still think we need to set up getting the screen capture of the space ghost pointing at each other. Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, you I put buttons. Actually, on, I put buttons on my wristbands. All right. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure when all three of them point at each other, they should all say "F Spider Man." Right. <laughs> <laughs> no space ghost wouldn't say that. I figured it'd be easier than you know trying to type it out on my phone while I was at work. Okay. So I'm not sure about Harvey Birdman in the costume, and I don't have really a lot of time to look it up. So I got to say, Space Ghost looks freaking kick-ass. Right. But yeah. I love just the look of the costume, so it's a hard one. Right. But I would say second place originality would probably go to Harvey Birdman, in my opinion. Okay. But Space Ghost is just, it's because it's more okay. familiar to me, so that's why I'm, like, looking at the two... And if that right. costume is just saying something to me, then yeah. So there, that was my input. Hi guys, hi everyone. Good luck hi. when they call out the winners. Thank you very, very much for everybody who's listening who don't know that's uh, Per. That is the server owner. She has spoken. Okay. 
Okay, so we will do Harvey. Uh, no, 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 no. That's just nope. That's just my opinion. I'm not speaking. Okay. I'm not running the costume contest. Gotcha. Nope. Those are just my opinions for you know, y'all who are judging to be able to say. Gotcha. But nope. Headed so back I to work, guys. Good luck on whoever wins. Yay. Okay, so I will say. Ah. Uh, Okay, you know what? I'll just do tied for second place because they're both really good. What it is. So second go. place is Harvey Bourbon and Space Ghost for second place. Which means it opens up a third place spot. <laughs> the remaining four here. So who is third place out of the four here? What do you think, John? For third place. Johnny Bravo. Don't forget, Shazan's in the running too. Who? Shazan. Yes. He's also in the running. So out of Shazan, Space Ghost number two, Cosmo Space Ghost number three, or Dark Lilith. They couldn't put a lot of heat on it. I thought we'd do Where did Johnny. Oh, there he is. I was like, where'd Johnny Bravo go? He's right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> that is that Johnny is Bravo. such a Johnny that is such a Johnny Bravo Johnny thing to Bravo do. Crew, right, exactly. We're like judging him like in the wrong spot. <laughs> come on, come on, Johnny Flex. <laughs> right. To be flexing for us, right? We're drinking some coffee. But Shazam would be way better if I could grow him to the proper size. Then he'd be as big as that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Shazad, you should be able to. There is a um, costume change animation you could do. That does the magic for like juggle magic? I think it's juggle. One of the juggle ones you do. If you look under. What is it under? Idol. There we go. Actions. Yep. Yeah, juggle under the mat. Yeah, there you go. The magic one. You see, that would have been more in character. All right, Wait, I'm kind of stuck between. Helping. It's up to them to do. Sorry, but <laughs> all right, it. so I can I can narrow it down to two of them. Okay, which two? Bravo. Okay. And Shazam. Shazam, yeah. Okay. Gee, you're a big help. Damn hey, because I was thinking that too. I was like, help me break the tie. I'm like, oh, well, okay. well, I mean, but I, at least that means that we're actually we're actually yeah. choosing. Rather similar. All right. So no favoritism there. So it's one of the not just to be. Like I said, everybody's going to get a, a, a participation prize at the end of this. Also, it's not like you're wasting your time making costumes. So. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Where'd it go? It's under idle. Man, even kind of the face of Shazam looks like Sinbad. I'll vote for Shazam. Hey, check this out, Big John. Ready? Can you see my character? Here, this time I'm going to decide it. All right. Atlas. It's Shazan. I did heads and tails, and I did a coin flip and let the game decide. So Shazan gets gets third. Okay, so later on, you guys just DM per to hand out the prize. For, for, let her know if you were first, second, or third place, and she'll hand out the prizes later. I can give out the money, but for the other thing, I don't know how to do the other the other gift. And yes, and I would like to personally say thank you to all of you. You all did a really, really good job. Yep. As you could tell by the multiple times where it was just non-decisive. 
you did a really, really good job. And that goes for all of you. Yeah, thank you. I have a damn key on that. All right, guys. And with that being... Lower? With that being completed, I am going to call this an evening. And uh, I will catch you guys. I'll probably... Don't get me wrong. I'm probably going to call it an evening. And I will... Uh, I'll probably go relax for maybe an hour and then hop back on because, well, I mean, I like playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if I don't see you guys later, I will see you guys tomorrow. How's that? Yeah, I'm going to go get some dinner to eat. I'm starving. You all later. Thank get, you. Yep. I won't see me tomorrow because I'm not getting off work until like 10 o'clock at night. So You never know. I could still be streaming. You never know. All right, fellas, I'm off like a prom dress. I'll see you guys later. And as for you guys, thank you very much for uh, sticking around. Thank you for watching. Um, as always, <laughs> night, Joe. Um, um, as always, be careful, be safe. We had a lot of fun. All of this is, you know, this is amazing. The time and effort that even, I mean, everybody, every character there uh, just made it a difficult decision.